Okay, we're talking with Mike Hughes, who's the coach of the uh, winning team today for the Creeks Outlaws and from the St. John's, Florida area, I guess, Greater Jacksonville uh, Conference. Is that correct? Mike? That's correct. Mike, tell me a little bit about this squad. Tell me a little bit about the personality. Uh, the personality of these kids, uh, they are a don't quit bunch. Um, these kids, today, uh, we gave up our first defensive points of the, of the season. Um, we drove the ball right down, first and goal at the five, and we got stuffed. Turned the ball over on downs on the, on the two. They scored on the second play on a 98-yard touchdown. And uh, from there on, the, the boys stepped up. We rattled off 38 unanswered points and, uh, and sealed the game. You think it was kind of a wake-up call for them? It was. Um, you know, we we probably would have preferred that the wake-up call happened a few weeks ago <laughs> instead of this. But uh, but the way they responded, it was great. Uh, they really they they responded like strong young men and uh, stepped back up, remembered their assignments, and uh, and shut them down the rest of the way. That's great. Now, coach, how long have you had this bunch of kids? Have you had them before? Is this the first year with this? Group? The uh, I, I'm the I'm the head coach this year I, for majority of them for the first year, uh, but a lot of them I've had through the last six years, and so we combined uh, two teams from uh, from last year. We had a team that was uh, runner up in our region last year and a team that was semifinals in our region, and so we uh, we merged the two together to to form this team. That's great. What do you tell the kids in preparation for this experience? I mean, it's the big stage. It's the show. What do you talk to? Them? You, to be honest with you, it's just to relax and have fun. Um, we have done everything we can do as coaches. Uh, the game is on them. And if they want to be successful, they have to play loose. They have to know their assignments and just go out and play football. If they're not having fun, they just aren't going to succeed. And uh, one of the biggest opportunities we had this year previous to the Nationals is we were able to play our, our city championship in, in the Jaguars Everbank Field. So that really set the nerves. Um, it, was a, it was a struggle in the first half for us while they settled in. And then they finally realized that football field is the same size. They just have a lot, a lot of seats around us that are empty. And, uh, and that was great. And from that point on, they've really, uh, they've really elevated their game. Well, it sounds like it's been a fun year all around. You've had some fun, too, with this fight. Uh, we've had a great time. I mean, these, these are great kids. Uh, this is the last run for the majority of them. They're either going to be moving on to middle school or not playing anymore. Uh, so this is, a, this is a great way to go out. Sounds good. Mike, uh, good luck for the rest of the week, and we'll see you again, I'm sure. Perfect. Thank Thanks you. Thanks again, Mike. Yep. Excellent. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Good stuff.